with style and innovation, Thule offers up their Crossover 2, which is an improvement on the first crossover. Perfect bag for everyday carry in the office with great style and function. What's up guys? Thule is really taking the backpack world by storm. They've released a lot of products within a short period of time. The crossover backpack was very successful and they've released their crossover 2, which I got today and I'm going to review. I'm very impressed by this backpack. Let's check it out. Here's the review. All right, guys, this is the Thule crossover 2 backpack. It's a durable everyday backpack to keep everything organized. This is Thule's answer to EDC, which I really like the look of this backpack. It's very professional. It looks like you definitely can bring this in the office to a business meeting. Um, I wouldn't necessarily want to take this outside, you know, far as in the woods or anything, but as far as the professional look, this has it down. So Thule says the measurements of this backpack are 12.2 by 7.5 by 16.9. And this is a 20 liter backpack that weighs 2.4 pounds. Let's quickly look around this backpack. All the zippers on it are YKK, and it's made out of this fabric. It almost feels as if it's just, this is a piece of luggage and not a backpack. It's, it's very rigid and it holds its form very well. So let's start in the front with this main compartment. The main compartment measures nine by 12. Again, all these zippers are very heavy duty and they say Thule on them. Inside this, this main organizer, you have a zippered pocket and then two mesh pockets back here. In front, you have a some rubber band organizers where you can put different things that you would like. This 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 band is very thick. And then you have a key keeper. Again, inside of this bag, the lining is, it has a design on it and it's, and it's very, it's a very good design. The sides of the bag are gusseted on each side. So if you really pack this thing out, your stuff won't fall out when you put stuff in. It's pretty deep, it's a pretty deep, um, pocket. One thing I really like about this bag is it stands up on its own. So, right now, there's not a lot of bags that I've looked at that do that, and it's something that is kind of overlooked. You know, when you set this bag down in the office, you want it to just to stand up by its own, grab and be able to grab your stuff. Let's take a look at this pocket right here. Tuli calls this their safe zone. This pocket right here measures three and a half by eight. And inside, it's got this, it's got this hard plastic feel. So it definitely would protect uh, some sunglasses if you wanted to stick in there. And it's labeled, everything is labeled inside and it says safe zone. Inside you also have a small zippered pocket where you could put smaller items, maybe some USB drives, some chapstick or something like that. And then you also have another section. So it's actually three separate sections in this small pocket, which is a great um, little invention by Thule. Uh, let's go to the side. Right here, we have a water bottle pocket and it's tucked away. I'm not necessarily a great fan of these tucked away type of styles of water bottle pockets because they can be very limiting and yeah, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of the style. But this water bottle pocket was able to take my 27 ounce uh, clean canteen. So I was happy about that. You can also stick uh, an umbrella in there. There's no cinch straps on the side. This backpack really holds its form great by itself. On the other side, um, Thule's included a RFID blocking sleeve, so you can put your 
uh, credit cards in there or your wallet and you feel uh, secure as you travel. Let's look at the handle on the top. It's a very wide handle with gray webbing. It's padded really well and you couldn't ask for a better feel when you pick up this bag. You feel like it's sturdy and it's, it's going to wear over time really well. Let's look at the back. On the back of the bag, you got these two backpack straps. Only I, This is maybe my only complaint about this. The backpack straps, they are somewhat contoured, but they're very thin. Um, I think if you really loaded this thing, you would probably have some pain in your shoulders for wearing it for a long time. But that's really the only complaint that I have. Uh, they did include a luggage pass-through, so you could put this on your carry-on and roll it away. The back of the bag, it has venting, but there's no like raised channels uh, for, for air to pass through. This would probably sit on your back some. There is a contour to the back of the, the, um, the padding right here. So it does look like it would contour to your back some. On the buckles, it says Thule, and then they also included uh, some strap keepers. And this mesh, nylon mesh, feels high quality. It's very high quality. So they really thought out, thought this bag through. In the main compartment, you have this bright blue lining is all the way, all way throughout the bag. You have one zipper pocket here, and then you have a tablet sleeve on this side, which is lined with fleece, and it should fit a 10 inch tablet. And then you have a, a document sleeve on the other side. This is actually a good amount of space. I could see a person traveling with just this bag alone for a day of travel. A business trip, you're gonna stay a day and come back, this bag would be great. You have on the back here, a laptop compartment where you can fit, Dooley says a 14 inch laptop, but I had my 17 inch laptop in here and it's a Dell and I was barely able to get it in. So I think if you have a 15 inch laptop, you should be perfectly fine. And then also on this pocket, Thule's included like a little lip to cover your electronics. I'm really liking that. Overall, I think this is a great bag for the office, especially with the stand-up feature. You can't really beat that. The materials that they've used through this out this bag are all high quality. The, I've never even really felt this material except on luggage. So they're de definitely taking luggage material and crossing it over into this backpack and it works. It's like this pin dot um, type of pattern and it's very thick, very thick. I like the large um, zippers, all YKK, and they give you a little bit of branding, just minimal branding on the front. And, if you, and I know they're getting, they're getting a lot of inspiration from luggage because they have this, um, like a luggage rail on the top. So that's awesome. Tuli really outdid themselves on this bag. I would not hesitate to pick it up. Yeah, and that's been the review. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you never miss out on any of my adventures or reviews. See you next time. Peace.